So we start with a polycarbonate twin wall um, sheet, and then we cut it up in a whole bunch of little pieces, squares and triangles. Uh, these are right angles, 245, 45, 90. Um, gonna, that's how it's going to flow into the pieces. So we start with the quote unquote stale room air entering in. The 245s make a 90 degree turn, and then the air travels down the length of the unit. This middle section we can expand as big as we want. Um, try to have more surface area uh, exchanging heat. Once it reaches the outside, the 245s again form a 90 degree turn where it then um, exits that. So the stale uh, room air has gone out to the outside. Now that in to out is all one unit. It'll be one layer. Um, and that then because we have that moving in, there's going to be makeup air replacement. So we have the fresh outside air coming into the Coming in, again, the 245s make a right-hand turn or right, a 90 degree angle. So then that fresh outside air is coming in. And again, the middle section, we can expand this as much as we want. And then um, when it reaches the inside, then again, the 245s make a 90 degree or right-hand turn. And that then make, make, brings that fresh outside air into the room. And if everything worked beautifully, we've traded some of the heat. Um, and again, that air inlet is all one unit or layer of this sandwich. So here's the sandwich. We've got these alternating layers. Now, the reason for the alternating layers is that heat will naturally flow from hot to cold while our air exchanges. We need to keep our air separate, but then the heat just flows between the two layers. Here we put a little aluminum bug screen on both inlet and outlet sides. Here we assemble the whole thing with some half inch aluminum foam and a fan. Here we have a little rain guard on the outside that allows uh, the air to come in, but not the water from the rain. Here it's in the window. There's a uh, insulated foam around the outside of it to keep it insulated. And I also, you can't see too well in this picture, added four temperature sensors. One from the room before the fan and one outside coming the room, the inside air going out, one on the outside when the air comes in and then one before the fan inside the room coming back in. So I have the four temperature pieces of data. 